We have formed a partnership with Southern California Edison and uh, the reason for this is because they are the leaders in uh, renewable energy and they're also very interested in tracking the building components of that which are buildings and how they relate back to a larger system. This is really a great, great opportunity for the San Gabriel Valley and our chapter in launching an educational series for architects and engineers and in, in, in also being transparent to the public on sustainability. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen, what's going to go on, to meet everybody and get involved. So and just be a part of this whole whole like movement towards sustainability. I think these partnership meetings are an excellent way for us to meet um, with the architects in the area that may not be familiar with our program so that they can spread the word on the incentives that we offer for energy efficiency and sustainability to their customers. I think what makes this program really great is that uh, we're reaching out to the community and the architectural community as well as you know embracing um, Southern California Edison and their efforts to uh, produce uh, sustainable programs that, that architects and engineers and community leaders can use in planning Pasadena and our environment. My name is Jessica Mack and I am the manager of our new construction group with Southern California Edison and we are the sponsors of the AIA Pasadena Foothills 2030 Challenge Series. Well what's different about our program is there are, there are workshops and workshops are four hours long. They're going to have panel discussion of experts at the beginning and then they're going to engage every student in what, what, the, uh, what, what the issue is. If it's learning a new program, uh, learning about how to do a, a certain type of passive design, uh, everyone is going to have a hands-on experience there. At the end of it, it's not going to be a typical program where you learn about something that you should learn. You're actually going to learn something at this program. You're gonna, it, it, this program will change the way that you work at, when you graduate from it. Well, I've known about AIA 2030 for a long time. We were involved in AIA uh, in uh, the original 2010, which was a teaching imperative. And then this is bringing that teaching to the profession. And so, in fact, I've known about this for a while. I just didn't know about the Pasadena application, and I found out about that online just by doing a search on what was going on in the Pasadena area. One thing that I would like to mention about the partnership with Southern California Edison is we have programs, incentive and rebate programs that can be taken advantage of. One in particular that we'll be learning about tonight is our Savings by Design program, which provides incentives to not only our customers, the building owner, but also the design teams. So the architects and their clients receive incentives from us. Uh, we're going to have uh, experts from Edison involved throughout the process and also as through their Savings by Design group. And, uh, and so it will complete out the series uh, in such a way that it goes beyond just architecture and architecture education. It gets into actually, you know, uh, education about the energy usage combined with the utility company that we're all, that we're all working with. And Edison additionally has a lot of free downloadable tools that, that they would like us to, uh, to use more that is essential to passing Title 24 and exceeding uh, our goals. And so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be teaching those tools and real, real world situations uh, with a lot of case studies and a lot of examples in, in the course and then a lot, of, uh, a lot of working for each student is going to work on a particular, uh, particular assignment. This event is right up my alley. I'm just really excited about it. Going green! <laughs> Again, it brings in outside you know, thoughts, outside ideas, and, and, and maybe, maybe a more practical approach to the 2030 uh, a challenge, which is Edison. You know, architects like to think a lot of times in, in big, big uh, ideas, or, but I think they'll really ground us and, and help us you know, move forward in, in, a, in a good way.